Hello, good evening to everyone. Good evening. Well, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for the ones that are already here. Thank you for your responsibility and for part of your rest, uh, for being here on home trial, I mean. So, uh, well, guys, today is our 15th class. As the majority of you already know, tomorrow is going to be our last class, okay? So, I have, as I told you yesterday, we are going to have the exam tomorrow in case there's something really, really important and something out of your hands and you cannot be present tomorrow, I need you to tell me. Otherwise, I will request everyone to be here tomorrow. You already know that. Now, a uh, question for the rest. Everyone finished the platform, the one Cindy did, well, she did already, yes. Well, I think everyone, well, Alupe, did you already finish the platform? Okay, good. All right, so uh, I, I guess everyone at this point already finished the platform. So guys, as usual, you know, I'm going to start by asking you questions regarding to the previous topic. So what do you guys remember about the last class? What was the last class about? Who can tell me? Time expressions. I'm sorry, what? Time expressions. Time expressions, okay, good. Let's see, we're gonna have a practice today, guys. And we're gonna focus on time expressions, okay? We understood last time how to know or how to use, actually how to use the, the clock or how to use the time. Now, we have two forms. As you remember, we have form number one and we have form number two. Who can tell me what happens in form number two when I have from the minute number one to the minute number 30? What is the word that I have to use from number one to 30? Pass. Pass, correct. And what is the one that I have to use from number 31 to 59? Two. Correct. Now, I need everyone to have a pen, uh, paper right now, because we're going to do the practice. Esta va a ser nuestra última práctica. And uh, uh, I need, when you're ready, please let me know so we can start. I'm ready. Ready. Okay. Thanks so much, Oscar. What about the others? Hi, teacher. Ready. Ready. Good. Thanks, Jacqueline. The other ones? Well, so you didn't say anything ready. Okay, good. So, uh, well, we're gonna start. And remember that it's gonna be about time expressions. What I need you to do, guys, lo que vamos a hacer. I Five, uh, let's say five hours, like cinco ejemplos de, de, de horas o de tiempos, from time. But los primeros cinco los vamos a hacer, we're going to do it with form number one, utilizando form número uno. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Then we're going to do another five, vamos a hacer otros cinco, and those ones, I will need you to use form number two. Are we clear? Yeah. Good, all right, so we're gonna start. Ready or not, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna say it in Spanish, okay? So you write it in English. Seis veinticinco. Seis veinticinco. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, give me a moment. I see that Elizabeth is just connecting, so we're gonna wait for her. Welcome, Elizabeth. I see that you just connected. Uh, we're doing a practice right now, Elizabeth. Good evening. Good evening. So the practice that we're doing is about the time, okay? Es acerca del tiempo. So I need you to have pen, pencil, or paper next to you. Eh, las okay. Cinco van a ser como la forma número uno. Las otras cinco van a ser como forma número dos. Estamos hablando del tiempo. Ok, les acabo de decir la número uno y esa es okay. 625. You write it in English, of course. Now, we're going to move on. Nos movemos to number two. And number two is going to be 9 y 7. 9 y 7. Son las nueve y siete. All right. So, we're going to go. Well, I will give you some time just in case you're still writing. Now, we're going to go to number three. Nos vamos a la número tres. Las diez y veinticinco. Diez y veinticinco. Diez y veinticinco. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the next one. Number four, we got tres treinta y cinco. Tres treinta y cinco. Tres treinta y cinco. All right, so we're going to go to the last one. Nos vamos a mover a la última. And the last one is going to be las doce y media. Las doce y media. All right, so we finished the first five. Terminamos las primeras cinco, which are in, you know, with the first form, como la forma número uno. Now, we're going to go to, nos vamos a mover a la forma número dos, form number two. And this one, I will give you a little bit of time because I understand that probably it's going to be more difficult. Now, uh, we're going to go and we start. Empezamos con las primeras cinco. Let's see, uh, number one. Recuérdense, remember, vamos a usar forma número dos, form number two. Las ocho y cuarto. Las ocho y cuarto. Las ocho y cuarto. Uh, 
All right, now we go to number two. Nos movemos a la número dos. Now, let's see. La siete cuarenta y cinco. Siete cuarenta y cinco. Siete cuarenta y cinco. Okay, so we're gonna move on to number three right now. Número tres is going to be. See, las dos y cincuenta. Dos cincuenta. Dos cincuenta. Okay, now we're gonna move on to number four, a la numero cuatro. So that is going to be, sí, la seis y cinco, seis y cinco, seis y cinco. Seis y cinco. Now. Well, I, I will give you some extra time. That's more difficult. Well, okay, so we're gonna go to the last one. And the last one is going to be cuatro cuarenta. Cuatro cuarenta. Cuatro cuarenta. Cuatro, cuarenta. That's the last one. Now, if you finished, you know what to do. Please go ahead. Uh, yes. You finished? No. All right. So please go ahead and send your picture through WhatsApp. Okay, I see that Benjamin sent something. Thanks, Benjamin. I know that you're working, but thanks for your responsibility. Now I got, who's this? It says Carito, but I really don't know who Carito is. And then we got Oscar. Then we got Xiomara. Well, we got Oscar too. Adelia, thank you very much. Okay, I think we got Umberto's too. Thank you very much. All right, guys. 
So uh, before we continue to another thing, uh, well, I'm, I'm going to expect the others. Voy a esperar recibir los demás, but I want to say something. In general, guys, well, I received some others. I received... Oh, Jessica. Oh, you're Carito. Okay. All right, Jessica. Now I understand. Okay, good. Okay. Hello, teacher. All right, so I got Carlos Rodriguez too. Jacqueline, thanks so much. Elizabeth, I got Doors too. I'm still missing Giselle. Aún me falta Giselle. Let's see, Sandra. Uh, well, Daniel Bernal se conectó hace poco, so I don't know if he, if he listened to what we were doing. If he didn't, that's okay. So what I was going to say, guys, uh, that... I want to congratulate you all. Quiero felicitarlos a todos, chicos. La verdad que eh, verificando todo lo que hemos hecho en la plataforma, lo que hemos hecho en los, en los, en las prácticas, en everything that we have done, you're doing really good. Han sido un grupo bastante responsable, un grupo bastante participativo, un grupo eh, muy dedicado. I really appreciate that. La verdad, muchas felicidades para todos. Espero que en el próximo módulo pues sigan de esa manera para que pues su aprendizaje sea de la misma forma. Así que antes de que pasemos a otra cosa, quería decirle eso para que pues sepan y sigan siempre de la misma forma. Ok, never give up and keep doing what you're doing. Sí, so thank you very much for that, guys. So we're going to move on now to today's class. Nos vamos a mover. Carlos Cepeda, okay, I received yours. We're going to move on right now to today's class. Nos vamos a mover a la clase del día de ahora, which is going to be, in theory, de teoría va a ser nuestra última clase, because tomorrow, el día de mañana, toda la hora va a ser de examen. So in theory, today is going to be our last class. And today, we are going to talk a little bit about vocabulary. The vocabulary that we are going to do today is about daily routines. Ahora vamos a aprender muchas cosas de rutina diaria. For example, lo que usted hace, que se levanta, se ducha, se cambia, se cepilla los dientes, lava ropa, etc. Okay, so that's the vocabulary that we are going to uh learn today. So uh, let me just go ahead and present and show you what we're going to have for today. So thanks God, today I haven't had any situation. Gracias a Dios ahora no ha habido ningún interference or something like that. That's good. Now just let me go ahead and share that. Okay, here we have. So guys, today, as you can see, our 16th class, 15th class, I'm sorry. Can you see, can you see the screen? Oh, let me see, it's not working. Si pueden ver chicos la, can you see the screen or no? No yet? Okay, probably it's working. Let me see. Okay, let me just move this here. No, it's not showing yet. All right. All right, I think now you can see it, right? All right, good. As you can see there, today, guys, we're going to talk about vocabulary about daily routines. So today we are going to focus a little bit on pronunciation. That's pretty much what we're gonna do, pronunciation. And also we are going to obviously understand how to say some things. Some things that are very common, things that we do every single day. So we're gonna understand that. Now we're going to start, first of all, with a brief explanation or a brief definition about what is a daily routine or what is a routine. So Oscar, I will ask you for help. 
help me reading the first part from here until the first period. Okay. <clears throat> what is our routine? Our routine is the, the usual series of things that you do at a particular time. Our Thank you very much. Also, the practice no. of regularity. Uh -huh. No, go ahead. Keep on, keep on going. Join this in a fixed order. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Join things in a fixed order. Order. Good. Okay. Thank you so much. Now let's see. As it says there, what is a routine? A routine is the usual series of things that you do at a particular time. A routine is also the practice of regularly doing things in a fixed order. So what it means is that una routine is algo que hacemos todos los días, things that we do every day. Usted no primero se lava los dientes y después se, le, se despierta, ¿no? That's, that's not what, what we do. No es lo que hacemos. That's why it says, por eso dice, una rutina sigue un orden, un orden fijo. Fixed order. O usted ha visto a alguien que primero se, primero come y después se despierta? No, all right. We don't do that. That's not normal. No es normal. So, I'm going to start right now. And as you can see here in the small pictures, we have some examples about some things that we do every single day. But now we're going to start with list. Empezamos con la list, con la lista de routines. So what I'm going to do, guys, lo que voy a hacer es repetir cada una, repeat each one twice. Then when I repeat it, I will start with this. Empezar con esta parte. I repeat it y luego pregunto a alguien al azar, randomly. Do we understand? Yes, teacher. What is what is a fixed? A fix. Okay, yes. uh, that is the verb uh, arreglar in pasado. Fixed or in arreglado in a fixed order. All right. Now we're gonna move on and pay attention, please, to the pronunciation. Do the laundry. Do the laundry. Hang the clothes. Hang the clothes. Iron the clothes. Iron the clothes. Make the bed. Make the bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. And this one, en esta de acá podemos decir la go to bed or Los americanos la dicen como go to, go to bed, go to bed. So, si usted siente que para usted es mejor decir go to bed, that's okay. If you feel more comfortable, si te sientes, si se siente mejor diciendo go to bed, that's also okay. Now, wake up, wake up, brush your teeth, brush your teeth, drive to work. Drive to work. Get home. Get home. Take a bath. Take a bath. Brush your hair. Brush your hair. Surf the net. Surf. Well, we were doing great, guys. Okay. Íbamos, uh -huh. and all of a sudden, I lost the connection. Yeah, I'm sorry. It usually happens. You know, it's like, I really don't know. Ojalá algún día this that does not happen. The weird thing, la cosa más rara es que solo me sucede con ustedes. De ahí con el otro grupo, I have never had a situation like that. It's like... Como que el destino se, pudi se pusiera en, en su, like with you, right? I don't know. Let me just share once again what I was saying. And I stopped 
Me detuve in here. So I was get home. I said, no, I was here. Brush your hair. Surf the net. Surf the net. Play with friends. Play with friends. Now, we're going to do the pronunciation, the first part, in Oscar. I will ask you, Oscar, to tell me number one, number two, and number three, please. Okay. Do the laundry. Okay. And the clothes. Okay. Iron the clothes. Okay, this one, we say clothes. Only three. Clothes. Clothes, okay. Correct. Clothes. Okay. Great. Thank you very much, Oscar. Now, Elizabeth, number four, number five, and number six. Elizabeth? Yes, yes. Uh, make the bed. Go to bed. Okay. Wake up. Okay. Thank you very much. Now we go with... Uh, Brush the teeth. No, that's okay. That's that's okay. Thank you. Brush. We'll go with Jessica. Okay. Let's go with you, Jessica, from here. Brush the teeth. Mm -hmm. I try to work. Mm -hmm. Get home. Thank you very much. Jacqueline, we continue with you. Get home. Take a bath. Brush your hair. Surf the net. And the last one. Play with friends. Okay, good. Now, is there any question or something that you do not understand from this part? Or do you understand it all? Si lo entendieron todo, or is there something that you want me to I'm sorry? What do you mean in something? Surf the net what is the na navegar, the net. navegar por el internet. Surf the net. Navegar por la red. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. Uh, I can listen to some interference. Escucho un poco de interference, so I don't know. I don't know who that is. Can you please turn your microphones off? All right, now we will stop. Now, uh, then everything is understandable. Todo está entendible. Well, okay. So we're gonna move on to part number two, this part. We're gonna do the same thing. I repeat it twice, and then I will ask you to repeat it. We start, go to school, go to school, or Los americanos también lo dicen como go to school, go to school. So if you feel comfortable saying go to school or saying go to school, that's okay. Either or. Now, go shopping, go shopping. Exercise, exercise. Wash the car, wash the car. Get dressed, get dressed go out with a friend go out with a friend take pictures take pictures play the guitar play the guitar water the plant water the plant go for a walk, go for a walk, work, work, have breakfast, 
have breakfast, have lunch, have lunch. Now we're gonna go with you, Xiomara. Xiomara, number one, number two, and number three. Go to school, go shopping, exercise. Good. Carlos Giovanni, number four, number five, and number six. Carlos Giovanni. Wash the car. Get dressed. Dressed. Go with a friend. Go out with a friend. Okay, thank you very much. Now we go with, let's see, Adelia. Take pictures. Okay. Play the guitar. Guitar. Water the, water the plant. Mm -hmm. All right. Guitar. Okay. Play the guitar. Water yes, the plant. Good, thank you. Let's see, uh, Joel. Joel, hello. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Uh, go, go for a walk. Okay, here, no pronunciation work. la letra L, Joel. So we say walk. Go for a walk. Walk. Mm -hmm. Go for a walk. Okay. Work. Okay. Work. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Okay. Uh, have lunch. Have lunch. Okay. Have lunch. Is there any question, guys? Any questions? Yeah, Oscar. One question, teacher. Uh, what, are, what is the different pronunciation uh, del artículo de? Sí. Por ejemplo, eh, yo tenía entendido que si, si el artículo, eh, el, eh, la palabra siguiente comienza con consonante, eh, uh -huh. con consonante se pronuncia de, pero si uh -huh. la palabra que le prosigue comienza con vocal, se, se pronuncia ti. Well. Okay, uh, normally or usually the, the two pronunciations that we have or in American accent, in acento americano, we say the, normally people are, go are going to tell you that or they, but D does not exist. Esa que me dijiste al final como D, something like that. Y no sé si así como fue como lo dijiste. Sí, sí. The, no, that one does not exist. We don't say sí, sí, sí. no, no decimos the, it's oh. the, the guitar or the guitar, the guitar or the guitar. Either one of them, cualquiera de los dos pronunciation, either one. That is going to vary, eso va a variar de acuerdo al estado que se viva. Sorry. I'm sorry, Oscar. I was just saying something to you and then I got out once again. Oh my God. I'm so sorry about that, guys. I don't know when it's going to stop. But, well, so I was saying, Oscar, that the different, uh, la diferencia que tenemos is the or they. That's the only two, but D does not exist. Esa no existe. Eso va a variar dependiendo el estado en Estados Unidos. But in acento británico, British accent, ellos solamente van a utilizar the. The. Ese es el único. Okay. So hope that helps you. Now, uh, is there any question? Hay alguna pregunta rev with reference, con referencia up to the second part? Any word? Alguna parte del vocabulario? Yes, teacher. Uh, 
No. Is no, not teacher. Not, not teacher. Good. So we're going to move on then. And we're gonna go with this part. I'm going to do the same thing. Voy a hacer lo mismo. I repeat it twice and then I will ask you. Let's see. Uh we have we start. Have dinner. Have dinner. Make dinner. Make dinner. Fold the laundry. Fold the laundry. Once repeat it once again. Surf the net. Surf the net. Feed the dog. Feed the dog. Take a taxi, take a taxi, take a taxi. Wait for the boss, wait for the boss. Paint the picture, paint the picture. This one, in United Kingdom, in el Reino Unido, or with British accent, con acento británico, para decir tomar un descanso, ellos dicen have a break. Pero en Estados Unidos decimos take a break. It's just a small difference. Solo cambia el verbo. United Kingdom, Reino Unido, have a break. United States, take a break. Now, let's see. Uh, we're going to have... Uh, let's see. Carlo, Daniel Bernal. Let's see. Daniel Bernal, number one, number two, number three. Okay. Have dinner. Make dinner. Fold say laundry. No, that one we say fold. Fold. Fold the laundry. Now, thank you very much. We go with Carlos Rodrigo's number four, five, and six. Okay, surf the net, feed the dog, take a taxi. And we're going to finish with Cindy. Cindy, we're going to finish with you. Cindy, are you there? Well, she's probably not there. So can I have a volunteer? Someone who would like... Hola. Oh, Cindy, okay. Hola. Yes, Cindy, we can listen to you. Um, uh, sería what? For? Mm -hmm. Ten bus. Wait for the bus. Um... Wait on the board. Okay. Um, mm, uh, we say paint the picture. Paint the picture. Paint, paint the picture. Now, this one, the last one, la última. Um, uh, we say, uh -huh. have a break uh, or take a break. How, how a break? Uh, can you see the screen or? Okay. Uh -huh, okay. Take a break. Take a break. 
Okay, good. Thank you very much. Now, uh, is there any question? Alguna pregunta? Questions? Teacher, uh, good evening. Uh, good evening. Oh, teacher, uh, good evening, teacher. Okay, yes. uh, what does it mean, fold? Fold, doblar la ropa, that's what it means. Fold, fold. the laundry. Doblar la ropa recién lavada, fold the okay. laundry. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other question? Yes. What is the uh, meaning? Oh, sorry, sorry. No, don't worry. Okay. Uh, what, what is the meaning? Write the little. Lil? Uh, well, where is that? Oh, this one, you mean? Where is? Yes. Rake the leaves. When we say that, it's, a, it's podar. Podar. For example, you go to a tree, vas a un árbol, and you rake the leaves. Okay, right. Thank you. Carlos, what was your question, Carlos? Yes, just, just I want to know uh, what does mean surf? Surf, the only surf, surf the net. Surf the net, surfear o navegar por, por el internet. Okay, thank you. All right. Now, uh, we're going to go to the last part. Nos vamos a mover a la última parte from here. And we got walk the dog, take out the rubbish, sweep the floor, rake the leaves, read the news, clean the window, cut the grass, do the dishes, paint the house. Now, any question? With these ones, or are we okay with this part? Or with all of them? All right, so if there's no questions, I will ask Adelia to help me Oh, you have a question? No. No question. Okay, Avelia, uh, let's see. Help me with number no question. two and three. Okay. Uh, walk the dog. Okay. Take out the rubbish. Rubbish. Sweep the floor. Sweep the floor, okay. Rubbish. Yes, correct. Okay. Sweep the floor. Good. Thank you. Now we'll go with Oscar. Oscar, number four, five, and six. Okay. Break the leaves. Read the news. Clear the windows. Excellent. And we finished with Jacqueline. Jacqueline, we finished with you. Jacqueline. Sí, pero siempre ha tenido últimamente este problemita. El, el grupo de, de los rebeldes, ¿no? <laughs> yeah, I see that. No sé qué pasa con este grupo, chicos. Algunas cosas han hecho, la verdad. Algunas sus rebeldías son. ¿Alguien hace vudú? Yeah, I see, I see. Because I mean, I mean, it's weird. It's completely weird. Para nada. Completamente raro que solamente con ustedes. Y al inicio no teníamos este problema. It was like perfect. But now, las últimas veces, it's like we're having the same situation every time. So we're talking and all of a sudden, out. And I have to connect once again. But thanks God, we're back. Uh, 
I was saying if there's any questions so far, guys. <laughs> no questions at all. No. No. No, no teacher. All right, good. So we're going to move on here then. Yeah, vamos yeah, ir yeah. Una por una. Okay, so Oscar, read number one. Uh, I mean, yes. Uh, they, Number one. Okay. Yeah. Correct. Do do the laundry. Mm -hmm. I often do the laundry on Saturday morning. Excellent. Good. Elizabeth, we we'll go with the next one. Hang the clothes. Mm -hmm. You should hang the clothes when the sun shines when the sun shines okay is correct eh, no entiendo porque aquí me lo pronunciaste bien clothes y luego cuando lo volviste a decir me dijiste clothes so what happened there que paso ahí it's clothes, oh. clothes. all right so but thank clothes. you now we we'll go with let's see Jacqueline number one and Jessica number two Boy, boy. Okay. Number one, iron the clothes. Mm -hmm. My mom loves ironing the clothes. Good. Guys, again, uh, but now, uh, now was um, the situation is that here it's raining in the place where I live. Está lloviendo muy fuerte en el lugar donde vivo y se fue la energía por un momento. So now it was not the internet. Ahora no fue el internet. But let me see what we're doing. Can you listen to me, guys? Are you able to listen to what I'm saying? Hello? Hello, guys. Hello? 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 Yeah, tell me. Well, what's your doubt? ¿Cuál es la duda, eh, La pregunta era que si, si, si el examen sería en hora clase o se daría alguna hora en específico para poder hacerlo. Ok. Uh, let me see. En ese caso, let me just connect the... Let me see. Let me try to connect the... Uh, AirPods, because it's raining a lot here, so I can I can barely hear to what you're saying. But it's... es algo de detener, chicos, porque ahora es la lluvia. Ahora no es el internet. Now is the rain. Jesus Christ, that something happened. My goodness. Sí, por acá también llueve. Yeah, it's Inicio raining a lluvia. lot. Like, like really strong. Now. All right, so now, now I'm unconnected. So what was the question? I'm sorry. ¿Cuál es la, la pregunta, chicos? ¿El examen será oral o práctico? Fue escrito.
Y después... Otra vez. Ay, ¿Sí me escuchan, chicos? ¿Can you listen to me? Hoy sí. Yes, 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 teacher. Yes, I did. I'm sorry. What was the question? The exam will be oral. Eh, el examen, chicos, va a ser de la siguiente forma. Se les, va, se les va a dar unos ejercicios, es decir, de forma escrita. Eh, unos ejercicios los vamos a trabajar en grupos, grupos de tres o grupos de cuatro máximo. Eh, van a ser ejercicios de todo lo que hemos visto en el módulo. Es decir, cinco o cuatro ejercicios por cada tema que hayamos visto. Eh, se les da límite, es decir, de 45 minutos. Luego de eso, empezamos a la parte oral. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Yo les pongo una, una, algo en la pantalla para que ustedes lo puedan ver. Y empezamos a escuchar la pronunciación de las mismas cosas del vocabulario que ya hemos visto. ¿Ok? So, uh, a la hora en que estemos resolviendo la parte escrita, sí voy a estar revisando que todas las personas participen. Si de repente veo que alguien solo está como que es un fantasma, ahí sin decir nada, sin aportar nada, esa persona automáticamente se quedaría sin nota. ¿Por qué? El punto de esto es que todos en el grupo... Se van a defender ustedes como grupo y se van a ayudar ustedes como grupo. That's pretty much. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Thank you. Now, okay. okay. Good. So that's going to be pretty much it. De eso va a ser, eh, de esa manera es como vamos a trabajar el día de, de mañana. No es cosa del otro mundo, chicos. Es, está fácil. Son las mismas cosas que ya vimos durante el módulo. So, no hay que preocuparse mucho. So, uh, probablemente si se le olvidó alguna cosa, son pronunciation, o si de repente se le olvidó algo gramatical, probablemente hay que irlo a estudiar. Okay? But other than that, de, de alguna otra forma, todo va a estar pues bastante fácil. So, uh, vamos a tener, chicos, una práctica ahorita. La última va a ser rápido. Solo se la voy a mostrar. Y les voy a hacer preguntas al azar. Cualquier persona. So, you just let me... Let me just share that here. All right. Now, vamos a empezar. Decí, uh, Adelia... For you, para ti, la número uno, de acuerdo a las, al vocabulario que acabamos de ver, ¿qué piensas que estamos diciendo acá en letter A, en letra A? De levantar, get up. Uh, get up. Are you sure? ¿Segura? Excellent. We got Xiomara here. So Xiomara is saying wake up. So the answer is wake up. Now, wake up. Jessica, for you, Jessica, letter B. Which one do you think is the answer, letter B? Wash. Wash my face. Correct. Thank you very much. Jacqueline, letter C, Jacqueline. I don't no, letter C. Okay. C. Any idea? Alguna idea? Uh, no. No? Okay, no, let's see. Os Oscar, what do you think? ¿Qué piensas? Letter C, Oscar. Uh, letter C. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, one moment. Uh, no, no, no idea. 
Okay, uh, Adelia, I heard you say get. Yes. And the answer is get dressed. Get dressed. Vestir. Vestirse, exactly. Now, uh, let's see. Joel, what do you think about letter T, Joel? Letra D, what do you think about it? Joel, letter D. Brush my hair. Brush my hair, correct. Let's see. Uh, Elizabeth, what about letter E, Elizabeth? I take breakfast. Take breakfast, okay. Carlos Rodriguez, what about letter F? Brush my teeth. Brush my teeth, correct. And Daniel Bernal, what about letter G? I'm sorry, I don't know. You don't know. Who, who knows? What about letter G? Me? Take, Me? Take the bus. Take the bus, correct. Take the bus. And now, um, these ones, we're not going to do it. This was going to be a practice. Iba a ser una practica, pero no la vamos a hacer, chicos. Nos vamos a quedar hasta ahí. Uh, so, para mañana, las últimas indicaciones, una vez más. Si de repente algo sucede, porque somos humanos y no sabemos las situaciones que pueden pasar. Si algo sucede, por favor le pido que lo avise, que no va a estar en el examen por una situación Sucedió algo inesperado, se enfermó, algo sucedió. Pero por lo demás, chicos, sí voy a necesitar que, eh, que estén. De lo contrario, se quedarían sin esa nota. Y por supuesto, les afectaría dado que la asistencia es tomada en cuenta y también su participación en el examen porque es el examen final. ¿Sí? De lo contrario, no había ni, ningún otro inconveniente. Eso sería todo por el día de hoy, chicos. ¿Alguna pregunta antes de que nos vayamos? No. No, no question. No, sí, chico. Ok. No. So that's going to be all for today, guys. I'm very sorry for all the inconvenience that we have, but I do appreciate that you are always here. Thank you very much for that, and I hope you have a good night. See you tomorrow for the exam, okay? Have a good night. Okay, thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good luck tomorrow.